Chapter 3, Lesson 6, Percent of Change, Increase with Sell Tax Tips and Markup. The proportion we will be using is still the same. We still have the amount of change over the original equaling the percent over 100. Remember, the percent always goes over 100. Number one, to determine the total cost to the nearest cent, we will set up a proportional one table. And remember, the percent always goes over 100. The original goes on the bottom left, and we are looking for the amount of tax. We cross multiply. So we have 100 times x equals 8 times 25. Solve the equation. 100x times 200. Divide both sides by the coefficient of 100. And x equals $2 tax. To find the total cost, you add the tax back to the original amount of $25 plus the $2 tax equals the $27 total amount. Number two, finding the total cost of a meal that costs $32.40 with a 20% tip. We will set up our proportional one table. The percent always goes over 100. The original goes at the bottom left. We are looking for the amount of tips. Cross multiply. You get 100 times x equals $32.40 times 20. And 100x equals 648. Divide both sides of the equation by the coefficient of 100 and x equals a $6.48 tip. To find the total cost, you take the original amount of $32.40 as the amount of tip, and we will be paying $38.88 total for a meal. Let's see if you can do number three by yourself. Did you get a $220.60 total for the DVD player? If so, great job. Make sure that you are putting the percent over 100 in the original amount at the bottom left. To get the total amount, you must add the tax, the tip, and the markup back to the original amount. Let's look at number four. It's a $42 lunch with a 